Hello everybody, this is Neanderthal Gaming and welcome to a brand new series. Today we'll be starting the Divergence Quest mod and that is on the um, AT launcher I believe. And so what this is is a hardcore questing book uh, mod pack I guess with a, with a few pre-generated buildings like this in to uh, help you along I guess. So here we go. In the year 1009 AD everything changed for the Agarthans. For centuries, Agartha had been a prosperous and largely peaceful place governed by powerful families, ruling their tribes with a firm but fair hand, trading with their neighbors and drawing heavily on the magical nodes and resources pre prevalent throughout the world. Until recently, knowledge, that's capitalized, and learning had been prized more highly than possessions and the principal librarian, a peace-loving learned man from one, of the most powerful, uh, from one of the powerful ruling families held the keys to the Pantheon. A large temple-like structure rumored to contain portals to other dimensions and the books of learning, all the books of learning ever written. I'm assuming this is the Pantheon. Uh, since the start of the millennia and to his growing dismay, both his... Oh, where do we go? Both his and other powerful families began separating themselves from the rest of Agartha, creating their own elite class structure and alienating the masses. Suspicious and suspicions and fear grew, and families and tribes splintered, driving the less magically minded and more practical families into hiding. Competitions grew for natural resources, both magical and metals, leading to an increasing level of conflict between the magical families, magi, and the technical outcasts, each competing for dominance in a world becoming split between the natural and supernatural. All-encompassing civil war now raged, leaving tens of thousands dead and a few surviving families scattered across the ravaged land. In one last-ditch attempt to preserve the home with the knowledge of power, the Master Librarian locked the doors to the Pantheon. During one of the last battles, the entire temple simply disappeared, leaving smoldering expanse of ground blackened as if, uh, as if by intense heat. The Master Librarian's, uh, with a question mark in it, had been found twisted and broken at the foot of the broken stairs. Okay, well, I saw that. Uh, there's a body over there. With the loss of the very rock upon which Agartha had been founded, the time had come to act on each tribe selected, a chosen champion to reestablish a prosperous and peaceful world, sending their chosen ones far into previous unexplored parts of Agartha with little but their own wit, uh, own wits to aid them. You are one of the chosen ones. Click here to start. So this is the Akashic Divergence Edition. Uh, we have over 100, like 150 quests, looks like. Roughly 150 quests, a little less. Uh, hardcore mode is not active. Okay, that's good. <laughs> You've currently died zero times. You're not a part of a party. Uh, don't want to do that. Um, but let's start with the tutorial. Uh, turns out I've already opened this book. Uh, this is the Divergence book. We have it right here in our inventory. Uh, so let's grab our first rewards. That beautiful sound. Uh, next, we need to gather some sand with our new shovel. But uh, what this book has is, of course, uh, this temple looks a lot different than the one we got. But anyway, uh, basically just the basics. Uh, I've already kind of looked through this. If you want to pause on any of these, I'll let you do that. But uh, I'm not going to read all of this like I just read that. Uh, basically, I'll be going through this eventually on my own probably uh, because I know books are not what you guys came here to see. So let's uh, let's try to find some sand. Uh, this is the temple, I'm assuming, and, and and I have watched a few videos on this. So basically, once you've done uh, some of the quests, rooms like this open up. I think this is the first door to open up, actually. Uh, and you go in there and you learn how to do another skill because there's certain things in this in this game you're not allowed to do until you learn the skill. And in order to learn the skill, you have to open the door. In order to open the door, you have to complete a previous quest. And so I saw a beach over here. So let's go grab some sand. We just need three pieces. It's a nice looking jungle. Oh, flint tools are not the best, huh? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's set up camp inside the hall there because we do need to find some shelter. Um, I'm also gonna grab at least one tree's worth of wood here. takes a while. <laughs> I 
So hopefully this will be something different from the uh, the the, survi the vanilla survival series I'm doing. Uh, I also just completed a um, one of my mo po most popular playlists so far of uh, my world edit. Um, yeah, my world edit tutorials. Uh, just a few short videos um, that really helped a lot of people out, according to the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching that, and I hope those of you who found me through that series are also here. We're also going to kill this chicken because we need some food. So uh, this is this is the um, the grand librarian or whatever. He's just got another divergence book in his hand, but there you go. Just in case, I want another chicken. I wonder what those things are. Lots of mods in this mod pack I've never uh, I've never seen before, but I think we're gonna set up camp in this room right here, just for now, of course. Uh, it seems to be well lit with these um, these flat lamps, which are kind of cool. This is kind of like you know the the hall of creators, I suppose. So let's uh. Ooh. There we go. Access inventory. Got our achievement. <laughs> Let's cook up this sand. Actually, let's make some charcoal first. See if we can do that. Be more efficient. Uh, so yeah, basically all these halls just contain more doors uh, with symbols on them that you have to um, complete certain quests in order to enter the doors. And once you enter the doors, um, there's little chairs inside that you sit in and you learn new skills. Like for instance, uh, right now, I don't think I'm able to place down Tinker's Tinker's table because Tinker's construct is a mod in this mod pack. Come on, yeah. So Tinker's construct is in here, but I, I'm not able to place down the tables yet because I haven't learned the skill yet. In order to do that, I have to complete the first quest, um, or one of the whatever whatever quest is mandatory to open this right here, and then once I do that then I'll be able to put down stuff like that. So let's cook up some sand, and we'll probably cook up some chicken also. Let's make the rest of this wood. Perfect, got enough for a crafting table and a chest. There we go. Let's uh, toss this in there. Don't need much of this. Uh, as you can see, the apple is uh, rotten, 0%, day 13 out of 7. I'm not sure what the day part means, but the food does rot here. And so we do need to keep up our eating and have a constant supply from somewhere. So let's create our glass bottle here. And submit that. So toss some sand in the furnace, blah, blah, blah. Did that. Think you can rule the world. You're not first. Uh, prove that you're worthy. We're first ruling your own needs. Um... So how do we need? How do we fill the camel pack? I know you can equip it like this, and that gives me one armor. Uh, is there any f water around? Yeah, there is. Now the generation is a little awkward here, but whatever. Let's see if we can get some water before nighttime. I'm just gonna try to scoop some up with my with my bottles here, quickly. Ooh, this might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Okay, salt water. Oh, crap. Okay. Dehydration. Okay, well, it's it's like zombie flesh then. We need to find some... A source of fresh water for sure. Oh, let me out. Let me out. Man, navigating these jungles is a pain. Alright, we need to get inside ASAP. So yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that because I was, I think, above this level of, of water before. Um, hopefully no monsters find us in here because I don't have any blocks to block our, our entrance off with yet. Uh, but what is our next quest? So we got that. Next is... Oh. Take that off again. There we go. So now we got these three. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. If I put these in my inventory, I, I believe I'm able to place one of them down. Uh, let's just do them over here. Yeah, so I can place the stencil table down, but uh, if I put the part builder, I'm right clicking, you can hear it. Clearly hear that. Um, 
it's not working because I haven't learned how to place it yet, basically, I guess. Um, but we need to uh, make some stencils first, which means we need some wood. And I see something scary over there. Um, um, I don't think I want to mess with that with with uh, one armor and a... Um, Let's see, what is the attack value on this five attack? I guess we could we could probably try. Wanna try? I mean that looks pretty, pretty scary. Is that a is that a chimera? Is that what those are called? I think I'm gonna avoid it. <laughs> because that looks pretty scary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for uh, night to be over here. And then once night is over, we will um Oh, see the door's open now. Okay, so we need to make it in there eventually. Um, but once night is over, I will resume and we can uh, continue on with our request. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I think we are good to go. Uh, it's not quite daytime yet, but... Um, um, I was able to uh, chop down this fence with my axe and grab a couple pieces of wood from there. Um, also, um, oh no, that, yeah, that was it. Never mind. That the chimera is meandered off, so I think we're safe for now. So let's uh, let's start crafting some of these things. Ooh, what is this? I'm a loot bag. I didn't know this. I got that. Sixteen creosote bottles. Okay. All right. I didn't know that um, loot bags are part of this. Sweet. Good to know. So let's, uh, I think it's sticks there, and then, yeah, okay, so we get four blank patterns. So let's go to our stencil table, and we need to make a tool rod. Just put them all in there. We need to make a pickaxe head, and we need to make a binding, that one. All right, so now we have all four of those should be good. Yep, we need the blank pattern also. There we go, we got five more wood and ten flint. And so now, since this door is open, we're able to come in here and there's this crazy looking, no clip-in futuristic wall with a weird seat and like a footrest. Doesn't really seem in place anywhere here, but uh, if we sit in it, criteria complete, see in the top right, it says uh, Tinker's Construct criteria complete. So now we've learned that, so we just hop out with shift. And now, I'm able to place the other two parts of the Tinker's Construct Lab. So there we go. Now we can go over here and we can put that in and we can put that in and we can make ourselves some tools. There we go. So now we come over here and we go boom, boom, boom. There we go. Now what do we want to name this? Let's name this number one because it's our first pick. It's probably not going to last very long. But there you go. We have our first pickaxe. Our first thing here is we need to gather the 25 cobblestone of any variety okay there's multiple varieties of cobblestone unstable cobblestone cobblestone unstable stone cobbles okay so that's it and we'll get our uh, smeltery stuff and some wooden hoppers I guess um, for mining purposes I don't think I want to be yeah I can't I can't harvest these with this pick at least <laughs> excuse me so I'm going to have to go outside to start mining down, but I don't think I want to yet. See, I don't see any of the other doors open yet either. Oh, okay. So I, I get it now. This is a map. So first floor, tutorial. This is the tutorial. Um, magical on that side and technical on that side. Okay, it's color-coded. And then the back. Oh no, on the second floor, the whole thing is basic. Okay, I got you. All right, well, we're gonna keep killing chickens to get some food here. I haven't seen anything scarier than that chimera so far. Um, 
but I mean that's pretty dang scary uh, and he did go towards the magical side of the building so I'm not gonna go over there quite yet uh, looks like the Sun is beginning to rise uh, let's drop some stuff off actually definitely don't need most of this let's keep that in case we find some water all right let's keep the rest of that uh, I, I wanna how I want to know how to get rid of these though I mean I could drink them but uh, how do I get to my map oh boy mini map uh, toggle full screen map is X let's try that all right there we go so it looks like we have some fresh water right where my arrow is pointing, unless that just is a continuation. Also, it looks like there's a building um, to the left of that little lake there. Uh, all right, so I think once the sun comes up, we're going to try to head to that, that fresh water. And then we're going to also check out that building. Uh, and I think we're good to go. We have plenty of food. We got some crappy water. Hopefully there are no monsters. The skeleton just gave me a little scare there. Of course, there's all these crazy plants out here, like in every mod pack. Ether berries. Oh, there's a little tooltip on the side. High atop the jungle canopy. These berries might be useful in combination with the form, uh, with another form of berry. Well, let's let's grab it. Ether berries. Okay. Well, check that off the list, I guess. Put it in our chest. All right, we're going the right way now. So we need some fresh water. As you can see, we have, I believe, a oxygen meter in the bottom right uh, for when we go cave diving and stuff like that. And then we have, ooh, there's baby chickens. How did you get about? Uh, and then we have a water meter in the bottom left. Ooh, raw hide okay and f it's a five pork chops from one pig all right uh, this is looking more and more like just an inlet um, ooh, a watermelon uh, yeah oh no this might be fresh water we we'll see we'll see um, oh it's a jungle oh it's a vanilla temple okay that's pretty cool and I see the zombie don't worry water bottle okay good this is regular water oh wow that really fills you up all right, so I still don't know how quite to fill up the uh, camel pack yet either. But we should probably go loot this um, chest here, Monster Slayer, nice. I haven't actually raided a jungle temple in vanilla in a long, long time. In my survival world, I don't know if I've actually ever been to a jungle, and if I have, I don't know if I found a temple like this. And man, there are a lot of chickens here, thankfully. Good source of food, especially once we get enough eggs to make our own little farm. I hear another zombie. Let's just grab the easily accessible wood while we can, too. Alright, let's uh, break our way in here. Grab some cobblestone also. There we go. Alright, we don't have any light sources yet, but we should be okay, I think. So let's head down. And I do know the secret chest is right about there. If we if we don't get it the regular way. All right, so I think I hear a zombie tripping stuff up here. I really don't have any light source, do I? That was a mistake. All right. All right. Yeah, I I literally can't see anything. String. You have armor on, don't you? Okay, we got him. All right, I am sorry for this. I'm trying to get in here. I'm gonna grab the stuff and get out. Oh crap! That's not arrows. Okay. 
some redstone. I'm going to grab this dispenser. I'm sorry if you can't see anything. Here, I'm going to actually turn my brightness up quick. Uh, that's a little better, I guess. Yeah, these things aren't shooting arrows at me. They're shooting this weird stuff that doesn't have a name, I guess. <laughs> uh, we might as well grab the chest, too. It's pretty nice. I'm going to make one eventually. Uh, can I pick that up? I cannot. Let's, uh... Ooh. Those are strange. Let's equip this. Okay, now we're good. Alright. I think I did it on the first try. Did we do it? No, let's just break in here then. Did that do it? Oh no, that's the wrong area. Let's just break through here then. <laughs> I think this is how you do it. belt. Casting table. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, so when I'm holding shift, it's a piece of information. Okay, that's strange. Uh, I'm going to toss this flower. Um, I'll probably keep the loot bags as they are. Oh, I could toss these. Uh, oh, no, we want more bottles, I guess. Let's toss the sticks. The apples don't stack because they're different values of, of rotten. Uh, we get to have one piece of cobblestone. We can figure that out later. Grab these. Oh, we still need two more spaces. Oh, crap. Let's put a piece of wood and the moss stone. All right. Now let's just see if there's anything else back here. Ah. More redstone. Probably take a, a repeater. No, no, we don't need a repeater. What am I talking about? Pistons we don't need either. So we're good now. All right, let's trek back. We gotta go this way. I'm also gonna grab some water. Actually, I'm gonna drink these and just use up the crappy salt water. And then just fill them up with regular water. Even though I actually only have room for two. I actually only have room for one. So I'm only gonna fill up one. Unless I have anything else I wanna get rid of. Um, since we're over here, I guess I could get rid of the wood. Um, because the water is definitely harder to get than the wood from where our base is. I'm going to keep the flint also. All right, we should be good now. I'm actually going to sit here for a little bit. Okay, my dehydration is gone, so we should be good now. Got our three water bottles, and now let's head back uh, north. So one of the things in one of the books uh, talks about these indicate. I'm sorry, not those. Uh, these indicator plants, uh, and so basically, there are certain plants that grow on the surface that lets you know what kind of ore is below. Um, so for instance, there's uh, one of the plants I had in my inventory right at the beginning of the session was uh, the indicator for a redstone plant. Actually, this is where we got a little bit of our wood here. Those feet of that guy scared me a little bit. Not gonna lie. Push that back. Um, so yeah, that's just where I got the wood from before. Um, so yeah, there are little plants out like outside. So uh, uh, this one, the flame lily, uh, redstone indicator is what it says. So that just tells you that below it somewhere there is redstone. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of nice. Um, let's see here. Let's let's dump a bunch of stuff off. All this random stuff, and let's open our loot bags, and I think we'll call it a first episode. I can't mind of course. Unknown dimlet. Put the unknown dimlet in the dimlet researcher. Discover the purpose. All right. Well, we'll do that some other time. Um, we'll probably put that on. Let's throw some chicken in. Chicken in. Oops. Oh, moldy raw chicken too. Okay, didn't know it worked like that. All right, uh, so let's equip our belt, whatever this does. Okay, and let's open our treasure bags. Oh, we got a rare and an uncommon. Awesome. Oh, wow, that's lots of stuff. Oh, boy. 
This is our good one, right? Steadfast drone, some purple sciency words, a steel sword. Awesome. Awesome. You gonna open? Do I need to make it a s one stack? Hmm. Alright, well, these are not working, but we got some pretty nice loot. I'm not sure what these are. It's from Chromaticraft. Dye purple crystal shroud. Oh, is it just dye? Literally, is that it? I'm fine, I'm fine with that, but uh, I was expecting it to be something crazy because of the, the crazy words on it, but whatever. That is pretty good, I would say. Got a new sword and these these crazy info fragments. Do these can I right click these? No? Okay. What ifs? Uh, so I'm going to sit here and kinda, you know, keep like building up our base. I'll probably go mine the cobblestone. I'll uh, keep cooking the rest of our food. And I will meet you back here in the next episode. So thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.